morning ladies and gentlemen good morning world um i have prepared a very special vow for all the future queens okay all the future queen i got a special vow for you guys um this is a vow that every woman should read to the man who is about to make her his queen now this doesn't necessarily apply to women who been dating broke and good for nothing lazy guys okay if you choose that as a king you on your own because everything in these vows you won't be able to do with a broke lazy man so you can just stop watching the video basically okay let me get into this baby since the first day i met you i knew you were the man for me for that reason baby I committed my whole life to doing everything to make you happy and keep you happy. It's been five long years of dating and two years of engagement. All the while, baby, I had my fingers crossed to make it to this day. Here we are, and I must admit that I am thrilled that you chose me as your queen. But baby, from this day forward, the following things I required are things I required of you in order to make me feel like a queen. First and foremost, as a queen, I feel like I shouldn't have to work another day in my life. So I have put in my resignation at my job so that you can take care of me and pamper me as a queen. No, you're not supposed to work. You're not supposed to work another day in your life as soon as he chose you. All the working, you already did it. You've been taking care of this man. You've been feeding him. You've been giving over in your body. You've been doing, you've been working so hard to become the queen. Once you become the queen, sit down, sit down. Don't work. Quit your job, okay? But like I said, if you if you be if you running behind, go for nothing. Broke man, this this doesn't apply to you. Okay, let's continue. As your queen, you are required to rub my feet when I wake up and before I go to bed. At bedtime, the foot rub must also include a full body massage. As your queen, you are required to give me a weekly allowance of $500, which will be used for grooming and shopping. Yes, you're not going to sit home with no money. He's working and he must put money in your pocket to take care of your hair and your nails and go shopping and keep looking like a queen, okay? Get pampered and keep looking like a queen. Floss yourself, get yourself ready all the time. And keep yourself looking beautiful like a queen for him. Okay, let's continue. As, as your queen, you are required to call and check in. You you know, you are required to call and check on me four times within any eight hours time frame of work. Therefore, if you are, let's say you are on a 16 hours work shift, you must call and check on me at least eight times before you get off work yes i'm your queen check on me make sure i'm safe make sure nobody is has broken into the house and killing me and choking me and kidnapping me check on me baby 24 7 i'm your queen check on me make sure i'm safe let's move on as your queen you are required to hire a maid who will help assist, who will assist me around the house and with errands when I feel tired, okay? As a queen, I don't want to be overworked anymore. Hire somebody who will help me with everything, okay? Even when we have a baby, let her be there to help me with everything. With that baby, changing poopy diapers and everything. I'm going to need that help. And that help must always be there till death do us apart. Let's move on. As your queen, you must never, never, ever, ever, ever cheat on me. Just in case you do, you must divorce me and leave everything you own before and during the marriage with me. 
everything. You will leave everything with me. Cars, all the money you have, everything. You will give me everything. Okay, when the divorce is finalized, you are to call a family or a friend to come and pick you up from our home. But before you leave our home with your contaminated spirit, <laughs> before you leave, okay, let me stop playing. Before you, before your contaminated spirit leaves the premises of our holy matrimonious home, you are to strip naked. Strip naked. I mean, when I say leave everything with me, you have to leave everything with me. Strip naked, leave the clothes, leave everything, including the wedding band. Take it off. Take that ring off. You don't deserve it anymore. You cheated on me. I will take that ring and pawn it and do more shopping and flossing. Okay? Leave all of that. Now, as you leave, you will never be allowed to live in this home again. But you will always be required to continue all your duties as my king. Yep, that's right. He's not going to, he, just because we're divorced now, he's not going to quit everything he's doing. He decided to cheat, commit adultery. And the Bible said if you if you commit adultery, we, we, we can separate, we can divorce. So it was his choice. So now he, that 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 is that that is no excuse for him to stop paying our mortgage, for him to stop giving me allowances, for him to fire the maid. No, all everything remains the same. Okay, everything remains the same. Yes, yeah, so I mean. That's it. That's it right there. You read these vows to that man as a queen. He needs to know this. He needs to know all of this and he needs to respect it. I mean, like, seriously. Yep. 